name of it is the Dog Days of School. Wow, we had National Dog Day the other day. Right, Oberon? People were wishing, wishing all their dogs and Oberon well. But let's find out about this particular dog. Hmm. All right. Sunday nights were always very, very hard on Graham. His stomach would do flip-flops and he couldn't fall asleep. You're so lucky you don't have to go to school, Graham told Norman. Norman is, is his dog. Norman would roll over on his back and snore. Well, Graham looked out the window and he found the brightest star in the sky. I wish I was a dog, Graham sighed. Well, on Monday morning, Graham woke up on the floor. He scratched his ear with his right foot and he yawned. And Graham's mom came into the room and she patted Norman's head. Time to go to school, you little sleepy head, she said. Norman jumped down from Graham's bed and he ate breakfast. He brushed his teeth and then he hurried out the door to catch the bus. Well, Graham smiled. He rolled over on his back and he snored. Uh, well, at school, Norman took Graham's place at the table and the children gave Norman a very curious look and they went back to practicing their letters. Norman practiced his letters too, he did. Meanwhile, back at home, Graham looked out the window and he watched the leaves fall for hours and hours and hours. On Tuesday, Norman went to school and he made a clay sculpture and a food pyramid. He ate birthday cupcakes and he took a long cold drink from the water fountain. Graham ate dry biscuits and he took a long cold drink. Oh no, from the toilet. Oh no, yuck. Oh, then on Wednesday, Norman learned how to play house and kickball and the maracas. Yes. <gasps> Meanwhile, Graham learned how to play fetch and how not to. Oh no, the skunk is running after him. On Thursday, Norman built a house of blocks and he painted a self-portrait and he went on a field trip. He did, I think, to a museum. Ah, oh, Graham went on a field trip too. Oh, with all the puppies at the park. <laughs> on Friday, Norman ran into some trouble with the scissors and the glue. Oh, and the teacher scolded him for chewing on his pencil and the table and her shoes. And then he had to sit for a long time listening to a story about a cat. Meanwhile, across town, Graham had to sit through a long, awful, boring day at the dog groomers. Oh, the weekend wasn't much better. Norman tried to play soccer and he tried to sit through a movie and he tried to finish a triple hot fudged sundae with extra whipped cream. Meanwhile, oh, you can see what's happening to our friend Graham. Graham spent his weekend locked up in the laundry room because he was so messy. Oh no. By Sunday, Graham had had enough. He tried to write his parents a note, but they couldn't read it. He tried to draw them a picture. It wasn't very good. And then he tried to explain to them, I am not Norman. But all the parents could hear was woof, woof, woof. A bad dog, said Graham's mom, and she put him outside in the cold. The wind was howling, oh, and Graham was shivering and there was shadows, creepy shadows were dancing across the lawn and oh, and Graham's stomach was doing flip-flops and he couldn't fall asleep. He looked up at the stars and he sniffed. I really wish I were a boy again. And sure enough, on Monday morning, Graham woke up in his very own bed and his mom came into the room, kissed him on the forehead and said, 
Time to get ready for school, Graham. Graham jumped out of bed. He got dressed. He ate breakfast. He brushed his teeth. He went to school. He rushed, rushed, rushed for the bus. And, and what about Norman? Norman took a very, very, very long nap. <laughs> what a funny story. Very funny story. So now we have a birthday today. We have, let's see, whose birthday are we going to celebrate today? I think we're going to celebrate Marlo's birthday. We'll say happy birthday to Marlo. All right, let me go through the list. Marlo's, is it chocolate or vanilla? Yesterday, for Akasha's wedding cake, Akasha and Alex's wedding cake, we had a chocolate cake. Today, I don't know. All right, the chocolate votes have just come in. It's Eliza, Peggy, and Angelica. I haven't heard from them lately. Chocolate. Molly, Alice, and Jolene. Chocolate again. Martha and Clara, chocolate. James, Anna, and Maeve, all chocolate. Wesley and Teddy, chocolate. Ben and B, Bevy and Henry, they've been on vacation. Tate and Coco, all right, those are all chocolate. For vanilla, we have Nora and Carson, KJ and Scarlett. We have Joseph and Christopher. Harris and Maya, Marta, Graham, Audrey, and Lila, Hudson, Maxine, Lulu, Frida, Patrick, and Hannah. Yep, okay, let me count. Okay, 18 for chocolate. Mmm, close. 19 for vanilla. Oh, 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 but remember, the only way we can do it, we can't. We can't slice these down any further. This is how it looks. So sure enough, even though it was only one point different, we've got vanilla. All right, okay. Are you ready, Marlo? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marlo. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Oberon. Thank you, cameraman Dan. And remember, I love you all very, very much.